Welcome back to Terra Firmacraft Season 6, Episode 15 with me, Sid. And uh, last episode, we I actually even can't remember what we did. We survived. Oh, we made the we made the mausoleum, didn't we? That was right. Uh, <laughs> just goes to show how bad my memory can be. Um, yeah, last episode we made that and survived another invasion night. Now I've since then I've come on and I have done a little bit of mining of. Building materials, of which we are going to need to borrow a few of those, because we just need to finish off up there. Uh, um, but obviously if we want to continue building this, we need to continue expanding it, and that obviously takes a lot of resources, a lot of materials, if you will. Um, did I... Was that my? Oh yeah, that's okay. Um, is that right? Yeah, that looks right. I like that. Just feels a little bit weird. So like that, and then like that, and hmm. that's not going to play. I need to bring it out more. Go down and grab some more in a moment. Let me. It's got to come around like that. Otherwise, the crenellations just will not work. And you know what it's like when your crenellations don't work. Boop. Right, and then that will continue on. Fixed. Uh, let's go grab them. I don't, I'm not so resource rich that I'm uh, things. And while we're here, we can go and have a look over there. So I've I've gone and done a load of mining, and I, my plan is to continue. Well, I'll might as well show you how I'm doing it because I'm I'm being a little bit sneaky. I'm being a sneaky, sneaky. That rice is not growing. Oh, we'll figure it out one day. This this. Thing. Oh, hello, bit of fruit. Eat the fruit. Bit more fruit. Yep, eat it. Oh, and more. Bit more there. Okay. But peppers are growing, tomatoes are growing, everything. I mean, the growth is very slow, but it always was in Terra Firma Craft. I think I'm just remembering things with like rose tenters roost into glasses if you like and I remember it being more what's the word I'm looking for oh that's where my bucket went okay well, that makes a lot more sense um, I wondered where I was, <laughs> I was looking for my bucket you know where's my bucket anyway yeah we got this going and in there there's my greystone of tree and it's died blah 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 that was what I had on me uh, and I mean, in theory, you know, obviously we could go and have multiple ones. We've got room for one more death in there. Then we have to go and start getting the next ones on. And then once we've done that, we're going to go underground and we're going to take it down. So the idea is not to require that, of course, but um, I ain't promising. Lovely. So that's that. Um... I've also made a whole load of sandwiches because my food was decaying, so I, I re basically re reprocessed it, so to speak. And uh, yeah, that was things. So I now got two things full of butties, and I've got a butty there as well, which I will eat if I can. I can't because I've eaten all that fruit. I knew I shouldn't have filled them on fruit. That fruit's not going to last very long, though, so I will probably just keep it in my inventory and eat it later right so um, I'm going to just pass the night pottering around because I don't want to go and do this digging in, in the dark because you know monsters and you'll see why monsters in a little while monsters are a thing in this particular one 
because, um, how do I put it? I've, uh, hmm, I don't know how I put it actually. Yeah. Anyway, they, they are definitely a thing. <laughs> um, I don't know whether to continue building up the gatehouse, which is sufficient now, or whether to continue getting the walls around the edge first. Because the walls will be more protective. Um, but we're not going to do the actual building today, I don't think. So, yeah, we we'll, might even leave that for a comment and see what we do. Towers or, or walls, I think. For me, the walls are probably the better option, but uh, we'll have to see, won't we? Anyway, I'll be back in a bit. Morning has broken and we are off back to Rock Tower 3. And you'll need to notice that I'm in a hole in the ground. And that is because I wanted to be in a hole in the ground. Now, I've got to be a little bit careful. Oh, I didn't know what I didn't bring. Damn it. Um, actually, it doesn't matter. It's free. We'll head back. Tower home. Uh, miscellaneous stuff. Just, uh, I have no idea what I do with that. Uh, those can go in there, and I would like a stack of those. And the reason for that will become apparent. <laughs> I've reduced the number of vessels I'm taking as well. And, you know, kind of rationalised all of that. Let's go back here. So, the reason for this is, if you look down, not that one, if you look here, that's a hole and it goes way down so we don't want to if I get a situation like that again I need to be able to plug it with um, something worthwhile now it's not too bad as long as that doesn't collapse and go because it just goes through every single pane and most of these are stairs so it just tends to go through them like a dose of salt really yeah the biggest source of these rocks is not the tower above. It is. Whoa, that's a fair old way down. I mean, it's not massive way down, but it is a fair old way down. It's enough of way down that I don't want to fall down it, put it that way. So sure, we're going to basically keep going on this. And um, essentially, we're going to hollow it out one level at a time taking the blocks, move the thing down, and in theory, because we are in a an open hole with this, there's going to be a few darkish areas, but I'm never going to be that far away that, um, that mobs can spawn. That's the theory. And then we'll get down to the stairwell, we'll keep going down, and eventually, if everything works out, that will be at the bottom of the start of the dungeon. Um, I'm not ready to start the dungeon, but that doesn't mean we can't prepare for that. So we're going to grab some of you. I'm going to come down the layer. I'm going to quickly block you off. Like so, and now we are good to continue down a wee bit. Um, we can do two or three layers before we have to move that. We don't have to move it every every section. You know, it's just sometimes a bit easier that way. So I'm going to continue digging and uh, I'll be back once I've got us a bit further down and a little bit more building materials. And I think I am going to work on the walls first, actually. Uh, I know I said I'd ask, but... You know, I had time to think about my priorities in the night. And, uh, yeah, I think the walls, even if they're only two or three high, getting those started would be uh, beneficial, I believe. So we can then, because obviously from that point, we can start planning the structures we're going to put into the, um, into the castle. Yeah, back in a bit. Oh, another two layers down. <laughs> this is slow going. Um... However, that's fine. We can go to home. Uh, we've got a load of stuff. Yeah. Let's let's talk turkey. 
I believe that's the phrase. Let's talk turkey. Um, let me get rid of you. Keep hold of some of that for a while. Um, maybe get a little bit more of that. And don't know why that's in there. That is not a block. Uh, for that matter, oh, that's aggregate. That is misc. I'll give it. I'll give. I'll give you. Give you that. Okay. So the the castle walls. I think the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take you out and you out because we're starting to get a different block here which we can use, which I think will make a rather nice gate accent. So take that one too, just for now. I'm not sure the gates will be kind of meh, a little bit. Hmm, it's a very good question. So, are we going to go like this? Does that even? No, it doesn't actually. It does not translate well. Okay, that's fine. I need those, um, but I don't need them. I could use wood, I suppose. These are actually not bad scaffolding blocks because they break really easily. Um, and they're not gravity affected. They are, they are the new dirt, if you like. So maybe if we do something like that, and then that. How does that look? Interesting enough, I suppose. Gives us a different texture, makes things look a little bit more cohesive, I suppose. So we can uh, we can finish that off. That gives us the start of the gatehouse. Now, what I will be able to do then is here we'll be able to. Mm, do I want to? I think I probably will keep this as stone slab actually. Let's go back down and try that out. Ah. Slabby, slabby, stony, slabby. Got a little bit. Yeah, well, uh, we will want a few more of those. Probably more than that yet, but let's see how those go. <coughs> Now we'll, we'll worry about how we do murder holes and things later. Let's, for the time being, just get the structure of the gatehouse plotted out. So that kind of, I think that works. Mm-hmm. Need to get some hidden lighting of some description in here, but that's easily... That's not easily done, but it's doable, I suppose. Right, what else? So once we've done that, we can probably get rid of you and you for a while and just go ham on this lot. Maybe you can get rid of that and have another stack. Let's get my fruit up. That's taking up a space while we're at it. And the fact that these are these walls are in doesn't mean that we can't change up the the function of them at a later date. You know, and we could take out that, for example. This is just broad brush strokes. Let's get let's get as much wall in as we can, and from there, at least we have got a degree of defensive nature on the castle walls and a lot of the the real dog work if you like of, of putting all of this down how what these are going to be how it's going to structurally be inside is un, unaffected this is purely one big broad pass let's get some structure down and I think we better for it because you know this 
this is a bit of a grind as well. I mean, this is probably me avoiding some of the grinders ahead because obviously I need to make an anvil and I need to make a tier two anvil, a bismuth bronze anvil, so I can make um, bismuth bronze sheets to make a bloomery door to then build a bloomery to go and harvest a whole load of iron with a whole load of charcoal so I can get to the tier 3 metals um, because I can't actually do anything with Tinker's Construct or at least I can't do any of the um, smeltery stuff until I've got iron sheets to make the um, smeltery controller Excuse me, sir. Come on, shoot. You're very cute, but totally unnecessary right now. So yeah, I mean, there's a lot of a, a lot of things ahead of us. But given that my typical TFC season normally lasts for about 200 episodes, and we are on currently episode 15, I am not dissatisfied with this progress. Uh, I do need to keep my eye on that water bar though because I'm getting, uh, getting a little bit low. Definitely going to need more, a lot more of this though. We need at least one more layer after this and then we need to do for the crenellations. Which, well that's fine. Might as well just do it two layers deep now and see how far we get around, eh? But, um, yeah, this was um, a big step in the right direction. And I've not touched the marble because, uh, A, I don't want to have any more collapses and take any more blocks out. Um, putting dirt in, like we had in that corner over there. And... Uh, it's not necessary right now, because again, I don't know what each of these is going to be yet. I do know that we're going to be looking at building a uh, cellar into this very soon. There you go, that's it. So we are starting to look a little bit more defended. <laughs> so much to do so so much to do i've got 18 left i could let me just let's, let's go and put those on just for completeness and then we can go and grab some more well grab some water and then grab some more Bloop. and uh yeah I'm trying to think what season it was i actually did last did the castle was it season two Um, trying to think, season, what are we on now? Season 6, season 5 was the lake. Season 4 was the one where I had the extra NPC mod in there. Maybe season 3 actually. Um, this, God, we have got this for a while. <laughs> anyway, um, the thing I'm going to build itself. We're going to need to go and get some more rock and I need to sort out my, um, my water situation first off uh, might as well top off completely I'm going to head back grab another batch and I will be right back with you another batch and I, I think I found something interesting about this this dungeon um, which I will show you in the morning because it was getting late but um, we've got the wall complete now for the time being because I don't have any walkways up here I'm just going to go with this as a temporary solution and then we'll get the crenellations on loosely loosely called crenellations anyway because I suppose they are I mean the crenellator they're just not particularly good crenellations but then I don't expect to be sat up here sniping skeletons with a bow seeing as skeletons appear to be the only thing with missile weapons and they're also the only thing I can't well, they're the only 
definite thing that can shoot at me that I can't shoot back at. So, yeah, that's, um, oh, hello. You do not belong in there. We can get rid of those. Keep hold of that for now. Keep those just in case. Um, yeah, so it's a little bit of a kind of an odd one because, you know, the, the thing that is most likely I want to engage at range is a skeleton. And the thing that I can't engage at range is a skeleton. Yeah, go figure. Um, but we'll, we'll get this thrown together quickly. Just, just simples for the time being. Make a it. And then when we go back up, we've now got plenty of space to, uh, to crenellate the, crenellate the hell out of it. We'll just crenellate it till it doesn't know what's hit it. And then we can actually start working on the top layer of the tower as well. This is actually gone a lot smoother than I thought. Anyway, let me get these on. Be back in a sec. Well, got the walls done. Um, I don't think I could, oh, oh no, I haven't got any zoomy zoom on this, have I? Okay, so, but I do want to get, um, that's not a very good angle. I need to get, I, I want a good angle. That was me, wasn't it? So I just heard footsteps, you know, when you hear footsteps and you go, what's that? Who was trying to creep up on me and then you realize it was yourself. Yeah, I had one of those moments. Uh, yeah, Zircon, I've seen those before. You do, do need to find a good angle to get the castle. Apologies if you can hear music, that's next door, they've got the radio on, and obviously not much I can do about it, so just live with it, I suppose. Um, that is mature, but I don't want to harvest it yet. What? Actually, it's the season. We're in late summer, so we've probably got a little while before the things. The problem is, if I harvest something, uh, tungsten, okay. Uh, da, da. If I harvest something, and uh, I hope this is not picked up well enough to get a copyright strike, <laughs> um, I have to use it before it goes off, uh, and that is a problem. Oh, hello. Fruit. Mine. Right, let's find a different angle then. Can we? How about this angle? That's starting to work, isn't it? Yeah, that'll do. Because, of course, the episode of this, the title of this episode is going to have to be something, you know, pithy and humorous like walls. Um, yeah, maybe not humorous. And now I know we've got chisels, now I can now figure out how to do the chisels and bits a bit cheaply. I mean, cheap ass chisels, but you know. Um, those arrow slits can change. So that's that's going to be a thing we do going forward. Um, let me just go and put this bush back down. Uh, and I think I'm just going to, I'm not sure. What? Where are we time wise? We've got half a day. I may actually head out and try and um, just do a little more exploring. Uh, Eighty-one percent. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to head out and do a little bit of exploring for a while because this music is getting louder. I'll be back in a while. I'm right, doing a little bit of. Wandering around, nothing, nothing major. I started up there. I've got myself down here. I'm just really kind of un uncovering the terrain. I found some sugarcane over there, which I'll get next time we come. But this is our explore to. So let's go to Tower Home. And yeah, the the next thing we need to consider is right there you go you can go in there i've got more sandwiches than i know what to do with right now uh, uh, plants yep yeah, grabbed a few of those every time i see those i grab them and where, wherever possible i grab those as well because they're just useful but i think we're going to have to next episode and i do need to just jump in i don't know why they've come turned back on but they need to be off i don't need reminding about them constantly um 
The next thing we need to be considering is, I believe, is getting some um, tier 2 anvil materials thrown together. So we can put down a tier 2 anvil. With a tier 2 anvil, we can then make the bloomery door. And we can move forward with that. Now, in terms of other stuff, we still need a bed. We still need somewhere to put a bed, for that matter and uh, we still need to continue building up this section now i'll probably not go much i may even just go like one one level up again and then leave it at that because i don't think this needs to be massive um because we've got plenty of space in here and as i say i'm going to put some uh, material out you know in terms of industry will go off 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 of the main island the castle is going to be our home and storeroom and you know basic stuff but i'm i'm happy i'm happy enough with the progress today um no invasion that will probably be in a day or five uh the other thing we do need to start thing as i say is looking at start thinking about is the cellar blocks now these are fairly simple they just need clay and if we go back to my journey map and go back to where I was down here, there's a clay marker there as well. And we also have clay. Uh, where did I mark the clay? Is that it? I think it's that one. Um, so we are going to need to go and get a lot of clay. We'll get, get that built in. It's not going to do a great deal uh, until until we get the um, thing. How am I going to hide? What can I hide? What can I use to hide them? A barrel. A chest kind of would semi-hide it. Just wondering what trickery I could use. I suppose I could just use chisels and bits and just chisels and bits up one of these blocks, couldn't I? That might work. Let's just have a look at that quickly. Uh, plants two of those get a couple of those going grab you grab you plob and plob pop you down right this is going to be messy but you know that is the nature of cheap ass chiseling Plane and a plane, and then we'll put all of this back on there, and we can keep you for later. There we go. Yeah, that's how to do it. That's the way to do it, Mr. Punch would say. Um, let me put you away. That's misc. I'm going to stick that in there, actually, and that is a miscellaneous block. So yeah, we are getting there. Um, I think next, as I say, next episode, let's start looking to do a bit of metal working and trying to get some actual mining done because I'm feeling reasonably safe in this structure. Of course, we haven't been attacked by anything that tunnels in yet. I'm also wondering where to place the, um, the cellar entrance and I may go on this edge and just come down and then round and we'll have it buried underneath the thing maybe I don't know we've got to think where we're going to live and where I mean you know if we're going to have living quarters perhaps they may be over here um, coming over here and maybe have there's not a huge amount of space down here though but there is under this bit hmm yeah lots of lots of considerations but um, progress has been made and uh, until next time, thank you very much for watching, guys. I will see you soon, and bye for now.